Oh my gosh, that pressurizer looks amazing. What? Cooling system? Holy moly. All right, so there is a new, new update. It says gases are coming in update four. As predicted, I, I, I've always been a big believer of this since like November. So I'm excited to see that it's finally official. And I imagine there's gonna be one or two farts in this video that, that I'm already aware of. Hey everyone, my name is Jason. I'm the other community manager at Coffee Stain Studios and- <laughs> The other community manager? Is that what he called himself? Hold on. Community manager at Coffee <laughs> <laughs> Jace, the other community manager. Stain <laughs> Studios, uh. and today, I mean, you read the title of the video. You know what this is about. Gases are coming to update four. This is Woo! super exciting. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are excited to hear this, but I do want to just manage expectations a little bit here before your mind lower your expectations. Okay, so first of all, we say gases are coming, but in reality, only one gas is coming. Uh, more gases will come. <laughs> What was that? You say gases are coming, but in reality, only one gas is coming. Uh, more gases <laughs> will come later, but this is the introduction of gases to satisfactory. So in update four, there's, there's only gonna be one gas that's gonna come to begin with. The other thing is the gases will for the most part just function like liquids. So they're kind of just gonna, they're, they're not gonna change the game in the same way that liquids and pipes did in update three. But with gases does come a bunch of new stuff and we can start talking about that now. So the gas that's coming is going to be nitrogen gas. With it will be a new resource. Nitrogen gas, right? Because they needed to do the nitrogen enriched. Jeez, look at this. Oil, nitrogen, water. Holy moly. So there's gonna be nodes around the map. So that's not gonna be just water in like lakes and stuff. There actually will be water nodes. And and it looks like they might even be changing the oil nodes. Yeah, look, look at that. Those things look amazing the gas that's coming is going to be nitrogen gas with it will be a new resource node type that you will extract the gas from and you will do that via a new extraction method so there will be three kinds of resource welds uh, nitrogen gas of course uh, but also water and oil and the extraction method for these will require two new buildings uh, resource well extract two new buildings resource well extractor with placed extractor and resource well pressurizer. Oh my gosh, that pressurizer looks amazing. Extractor and resource well pressurizer. The way this works is you get the resource well pressurizer, you place that on a well, it's gonna pressurize the well, and then at various locations in the area, the resource is gonna start spewing out of the ground. Oops, I the mic a little bit. Got a little carried away. <laughs> Resources are going to spew out from the, from the ground. You grab your resource well extractors, you put them on those locations, and you start uh, piping whatever you have back to wherever you need it to be. And because you can pipe from all these different locations at the same time, there's a, it's a lot higher resource output rate actually via the wells than the uh, traditional methods. That's you know talking more for uh, water and oil there. Now the gases, like I said, would travel through pipes. You know from the resource well extractors there is a potential change we might make here though we're not fully sure yet but this is our plan we're thinking of changing the way headlift behaves for gases in pipes in fact probably just removing it completely so that you won't need pumps to move gases around so that maybe that makes sense let me know what you think in the comments below but uh you know this even though we're we're pretty close to the release of update 4 this is still kind of like this is game dev sometimes you still don't know the the the, the concrete answer of things up until the last minute, which is sometimes why we're vague about things, because we don't know what's going on. Anyway, so that's the uh, the resource well uh, extraction method, the resource wells, and the new gas. You might be wondering what will gases be used for? They're going to be used for you know the creation of new parts and stuff. They're going to be tied into the blender actually. Yes. Quite a lot. So if you check the, uh, I'll put a link up here. We we made a uh, like a like a <coughs> teaser video of the blender last week that came out on our YouTube channel uh, here. Yeah. So the, so the blender is going to be making use of the nitrogen gas uh, and some examples of some parts that are going to be uh, the nitrogen nitrogen will be responsible for will be the fused modular frame. This was actually teased. This is nitrogen infused. So that's where kind of this started coming from. And look, modular frame, heavy modular frame, and then now the aluminum um, nitrate uh, infused uh, modular frame there. Just over the Fixmas advent cal calendar. Some people could get it. And if you read the description, there's kind of a teaser in there that, you know, nitrogen was a thing. So yes, yeah, so you can use nitrogen to create fused modular frames. Yeah. There'll be a cooling system, which is going to be a new part. And there's going to be nitric acid as well, which will be responsible for some uh, new refinement and fuel production processes. Wait, what was that? Nitric acid as well, which will be... There'll be a cooling system, which is going to be a new part. What? Cooling system? Holy moly. Cooling system? For what? This is going to be part of the aluminum process. 
They have the heat sinks up there with the nitrite. Option B, option A. And there's going to be nitric acid as well, which will be responsible for some uh, new refinement and fuel production processes. New refinement and fuel production processes. Fuel refinement. Fuel refinement. Fuel refinement. So they're going to still be dinking around with fuel because I thought we were only going to get aluminum here. I'm thinking that the water that's going to come out of the blender is going to be super hot or water that goes into the blender is going to have to be cooled. So this machine is probably going to be before the blender. It looks like there's a pipe hole on it. So I'm guessing that pipe is this going to be just like a small little thing that sits on the ground or sits on something that a pipe runs through and then this cools liquids. I'm surprised we don't have a, a heating system, like a cooling system, like we would, we would heat we would heat the water too, maybe for pressure. Like whatever comes out of the blender is gonna have to be cooled. And I think that that's what this machine's gonna be used for. But then that doesn't make sense to me either. So I, I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the cooling system. So leave the comments below if you've got any ideas here. Nitric acid as well, which will be responsible for some uh, new refinement and fuel production processes. Yeah, so that's uh, that's all there is with gases for now. Uh, I hope this is interesting. I hope you uh, like that and we're looking forward. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much for this, Jace. To it. This is going to add a little bit more uh, complexity to the game, more parts, more things to do, you guys. Um, yeah, really excited to see what you guys think of this. So please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit like, consider subscribing. Uh, Already I subbed. See you next week. Are you guys subbed? Go sub to Coffee Stain. He's going to see us next week on Tuesday. Okay, let's review. One gas is coming, nitrogen, for sure. We're gonna get these oil and water wells as well. Okay, now, someone was mentioning this before. This is kind of cool. So now there's gonna be these, there's gonna be water nodes around the map. There's gonna be nitrogen nodes around the map. There's gonna be oil nodes around the map. We're gonna get even more oil than the oil that we have on the coastlines. We're gonna get oil in the middle of the map, which is really cool. Um, which means we're gonna get... I'm curious to think maybe they're going to take away some oil nodes. Um, that'll be interesting. Two new buildings here. Resource well extractor, resource well pressurizer, a third building as well. So I'm guessing on the pressurizer, we're going to get a one liquid in and a one liquid out. So um, looking at the picture here, it's kind. that's kind of what it looks like. Now, there's something interesting going on up here. It looks like these are holding wells. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with these. This looks so cool. They have these pressure smashers. This building is going to look look absolutely fantastic. I think that this has got to be on uh, an attachment to a building or uh, maybe something that just sits outside the building. Um, maybe this sits outside the pressurizer. Well, we've got that for sure. We've got the cooling system. We know nit nitrogen is coming. We've got the two new buildings for sure. We've got resource wells. Guys, this game is going to be absolutely amazing come 1.0. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my little breakdown here, and I hope to see you guys again really, really soon. Thank you guys so much. And remember, I stream live on Twitch where I talk about this and many other things. Hope to see you guys there. Bye, everyone. Almost closed the stream thinking the video was over. 30-minute stream. Later.